Hey guys, welcome back to another video. You won't believe this, but artists do fail a lot from time to time. So am I. But failing is not an excuse for me to give up. So I have these two shikishis here and maybe some of you will say, oh, this one is not that bad, but I really thought these two are so bad I can't finish them off. So I put them away instead of throwing them in the trash bin because a shikishi has a lot more value than a normal piece of paper. Um, and someday I found them again and thought, ooh, maybe I could try to fix these pictures and just see what will happen. And that's what I did. So at first I just looked at this picture and thought about what could make her face look less flat and more interesting. And especially, how do I fix this green spot on her chin? I decided to add more depth with darker tones and I just took my time contouring her face more. I stayed with this purple color family for the background and tried to create something like a stormy foggy background with some hints of pink and blue to make it more pop. And I mostly worked with complementary colors. At the beginning I was not happy with her boring face, I really disliked her dead big eyes and that super friendly, common, boring smile. And after I found this picture again, I was like, you can fix that. And it was not that hard to do that, because there was a lot of empty white spaces left. I guess it would have been more difficult if there was more color or even a wrong anatomy. But most of the time, artists break up drawing things pretty early. It's like we can feel that something goes wrong within the first line. <laughs> so you know, I like to talk a lot about fixing mistakes instead of giving up. And I think it's always worth to try it. And I mostly made the experience that something pretty good can come to life if we just give things a chance. Sometimes you can't fix things, but you will always collect experience and maybe you will draw on those failed out with less pressure because you can really use this to try out things and techniques, um, maybe things you wouldn't normally do in your art. We should care less about what will happen if we fail and start to think about what could happen if we succeed. Making art shouldn't stress us. So like I said in the beginning, failing is not an excuse for giving up. Fixing things successfully will boost your self-confidence. And it can be really helpful for your improvement to finish things off. So after going crazy with the gold ink, this piece is finally finished. And I'm pretty happy that I haven't thrown it away and instead decided to fix it. This chikishi and a lot more will be now available at my Etsy store. Link is in the description box. And don't forget to take a peek if you're interested in supporting my art. And for those who want to get more inspired by my art, there are also my own art books available with a lot of sketches and colored artworks. And if you want to get your book signed, just leave a note within your order. Question for you. What are three things you can't live without in a day? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments down below. I will pick one or two of those questions for the next video to answer. And maybe I will do this in every video in the future. Let's see. Next week I will show you if I was able to fix the other shikishi where I failed doing a watercolor coloration. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure to be subscribed to my channel. Or if you really want to be sure, hit that bell icon so you will probably get a notification if I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and like always, stay creative. Bye bye!